Hi, welcome back to my channel. This week's video is all about the orientation schema and forms another video in my playlist on schemas. I'll link the playlist above now and in the description box below. If you haven't gone and seen the very first video, I really suggest you do that because that will give you an um, overview of what the schemas are in general and give you an understanding of why they're so important for us parents to know about. But the orientation schema, and I'll go through that today, is all about experiencing the world from different points of view and different angles. We have all gone through this schema and it now allows us to not have to hang upside down to know what it feels like. Those people that like to jump out of aeroplanes or bungee jump, are still um, adding to their orientation schema. Equally, if you enjoy moving your furniture around in your house, you're probably also adding to your orientation schema by um, positioning and experiencing things from different points of view and different angles, knowing which way makes you feel the best about objects. So the orientation scheme is a very physical one and involves your child climbing and moving their bodies to get a better view or a different angle of the world. And this is probably the, the, the schema that involves the least amount of resources from your point of view. There's not a lot of things um, that you can kind of have or you know purchase to support this schema. It's more about um, getting out into the park or allowing your child just to experience, experience the things that they need to do in a safe way. You might notice that your child likes to suddenly do yoga. <laughs> they might um, do that kind of downward dog um, pose on the carpet, looking between their legs to experience the world. You know, how does it feel to experience the world from that point of view? And it's only through, you know, going through that that we now know, you know, I can explain this to you now and you've probably already got a vision in your head and an understanding of what that feels like without having to do it. Your toddler is obviously not got that and they are physically having to do it. If you've got um, a climbing frame in your garden, brilliant. A pickler frame is really useful. If you don't have an outside space, a pickler frame is basically, oh, I'll insert a picture actually, it's like a little wooden triangular frame like a ladder. You also get extension things of like little slopes and climbing bits. But it just encourages your child to climb and it really supports the orientation schema because they can hang and, and maneuver themselves to experience the world from different angles. Just generally climbing and standing at different points in the room. You might find that they like to stand on different pieces of furniture um, and obviously you want to do that in a safe way. They might also like to go under things or sit on top of things. Again this is where frustrations from parents come in when they realize that their child is doing this and, and not understanding why you know why are you sitting on the table or why are you underneath the table and they're just trying to experience everything they can about the world around them so language that you might want to use when you've noticed that your child is in the orientation schema I'm really sorry there's somebody starting to drill <laughs> I hope that's not coming through on the camera so language you might use is climb on under off upside down, all of those kind of positioning and orientation words. If your child is a little bit older, you could think about left and right. That's um, a very brief overview of um, the orientation schema and I really hope that's given you a better idea of what your child is going through when they're in this schema and things that you can support them with. Getting outside really is the best one for the orientation schema. I really hope that's helped you and I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>